Hi everyone, Phil from Bidactive here. Now in this video, I'm gonna do something a little bit naughty. Smartsheet automations don't currently allow you to delete rows. But they do allow you to move them out or copy them out into other sheets, but that requires you to have an archive sheet to catch those rows. And that doesn't really solve the problem if you're doing it in high volume. Fortunately though, Smartsheet have made a delete row method available via the, um, via the bridge workflow builder. And we can go and take a look at what we can do with that. But before we do that, I just wanted to say that and remind you guys that we are a Smartsheet partner and we are here to support you with whatever your needs are, um, whether it's building new solutions, working through challenges, whatever it is, just get in contact either via the comments or via the form and we'll be delighted to help you. And with that said, let's go and break some stuff. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the two time plans that I populated with blocks of tasks in one of my other videos. They're exactly how they, they were left at the end of that video. So you've got two blocks of tasks that have been put into this one. Um, and this one ran to its full extent and we have three blocks in here. Now what I didn't show you during that video is that I'd also put in the task block uh, sheet a column called delete me. This is purely for convenience. There are other ways in which you could, you could set up a, um, the rules around what you're going to delete and what you're not going to delete. But this has allowed me, when I've been experimenting with these two, uh, two examples, to switch between them, to add the blocks in and then very easily take them out again just at the click of a button. And so any tasks that were added into either of these two sheets, there is a, a, there's a hidden column called delete me with a check against it and all the ones that are in a standard um, were not there. As far as the workflows go in Bridge, uh, it's a manual trigger um, and I'm, I'm running a get report here and this allows me to pull through all the time plan sheets that relate to this portfolio. So it's the only the two sheets here um, and then we cycle through those and then we cycle through those sheets looking at each row and then when we go to each row uh, we have a third workflow where we're looking at, at, the, um, at the delete me column and if there is a check in it um, we delete the row and if not we don't do anything. So this is quite a common way for structuring uh, workflows in Bridge to allow you to really scale it out. Um, and you'll notice with the way that I name things, I try and keep them th this kind of relationship with the, um, the one, this, this is effectively the parent, then the, um, the child, and then the grandchild, so that when I'm looking through the Bridge uh, menus, I can identify the groups of workflows that I've built that all relate to one another. I'm going to set it off now. So let's go and hit play. And once again, we just hit refresh, so that starts running. We can then go down into the workflow below and see that that one will start running. So we've got a waiting there. And then we go into this one. Um, and if we start hitting refresh on that, you can see that we've already had one that's gone through and completed. Uh, value is false. So it's gonna go through every row in that sheet um, and check what the status of them. But eventually we'll come to some that where that value is true and things will start to get deleted out. So if we go to one of the time plan columns now, very soon we should start seeing the likes of task one. Here we go, um, getting removed from here. So if I hit refresh, oh wow, well, we've already had the first five go from here. And so as we're in the middle of a, um, a block now, um, these should come thick and fast and you will see these um, this start to uh, refresh out. Um, if I hit refresh again, uh, there we go. Yeah, so seven, eight, six, seven, eight, and nearly nine and 10 are gone. I'll give them just a moment. In fact, I'm going to manually refresh that. There you go. That whole block is now disappeared. And so this is back how it was at the start of the, uh, of the previous video. And before too long, we only have a few rows to go before we start to get onto this block as well. Um, so you'll see it will just chunk through each sheet, each row, bit by bit and it will delete them all out. So if you, if you have a big uh, deletion job that you need to do, particularly let's say if there, was, um, there were rows that you wanted to get rid, rid of on a, um, on a time or date basis, um, you could certainly um, set up some rules uh, either within a, um, a, a, some, some helper column within Smartsheet or indeed with some logic within Bridge to identify those and then allow you to do the, the, um, the do I delete it, do I, do I not delete it? Um, make that decision, and um, and get everything cleaned up nicely. So this has started to uh, chunk through the second block, and I just wanted to show you this because it uh, um, moving on to the next block. So we, we're going to wait it out a little bit longer, um, and 
eventually we'll get onto the other sheet because uh, I know that we've got a, a couple of tasks very early on in that sheet. So I just want to prove to you that this will just run straight through and, um, and go on to the next sheet. So that is cleaned up. That is exactly how that sheet was um, when we were at the start of the adding time blocks uh, demonstration. It will run through the final few rows now. Um, and if we go back to the workflow, you'll see that we'll have many, many runs that have now been done. They've happened all pretty quickly. It's, it's looking like it's taking you know, f five seconds, maybe a, um, a row. And if we go on to the second one very soon, it's only the second row that will um, will then start to um, be deleting out. So that you can see now that this is starting to work through as well. So um, yeah, Ma mass delete, quite a powerful thing, um, and um, it's potentially uh, quite useful for for multiple applications, particularly when once you can start to do it beyond just doing a single sheet and going up going onto a whole portfolio of sheets without having to uh, set up a workflow for each of them. So there you have it. A simple but powerful method of curating the content of your sheet. If you're interested in taking this one further, do get in contact. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care now.